Alright, so I didn't want to leave you guys with no video this week, so this video is going to be a two-parter. But anyways, if you do enjoy, drop a like so that I know if I should continue this series or not. And without any further comments, let's get started. Gauntlets are one of my favorite parts of Geometry Dash. Their difficulty range makes them enjoyable for both new and experienced players. The requirements for a gauntlet are actually pretty simple. The level needs to be well themed, the difficulty needs to gradually increase with each level, and last but not least, they have to be fun. So are the official Geometry Dash gauntlets actually good? Find out here in episode 1 of Ranking Stuff with Womper. Don't know if that's gonna stick, but we're going with it anyways. Let's start here with the Fire Gauntlet, probably the first one that you're gonna play. This gauntlet is the introduction to gauntlets, the first impression, so it has to be good, right? Let's start with the theming. Oh, it's bad. The level playing in the background is Outer Space, the first level of the Fire Gauntlet. I repeat, the first level in the Fire Gauntlet. This level does a really bad job in keeping a consistent theme. This goes on for the next 3 levels until you reach Magmatic Sanctuary, the only fire themed level in the entire gauntlet. The difficulty is great, it's pretty easy, but hey, it's the first gauntlet. You're probably gonna be beating this before Clutterfunk or whatever, so it's fine. Let's wrap it up here and give the fire gauntlet a 5 out of 10. The ice gauntlet is a massive improvement. The first level is amplification, which is a nice themed level. The next ones are less focused on the ice part, but I mean, at least they're blue. Mostly. The difficulty with this one is definitely a step up from the fire gauntlet, but it does gradually get harder and that's what we're looking for. So with that, I'll give the ice gauntlet a 7 out of 10. I really like the poison gauntlet. The first level is Toxic Factory, one of the best themed levels in all of the gauntlets. The poison gauntlet is also pretty easy, making it a great experience for new players. There is only one tiny little problem. Okay listen, I'm not gonna yap about this level, there's really nothing new to say. Colin made an entire video dedicated to it, so check that out if you want to, but in short, the level is trash and ruins the entire gauntlet, 1 out of 10. Now the shadow gauntlet is one of the good ones. The gauntlet starts off with spooky light, one of the best gauntlet levels. The other levels also are great and they keep the shadow theme to some extent. I mean the song is called Ghost House, that counts, right? I'm gonna give this one a 7 out of 10. Next on the list is the bonus gauntlet. This one is interesting because it doesn't really have a theme. I guess the levels have to be energetic and colorful, but really there are no requirements for anything. This gauntlet starts off with Chambers, a level by Sir Hadouken using the song Colorblind by Panda Eyes. Oh, Colorblind, that's why the level is grey. Jokes aside, the level is grey, and so is the next one, and the one after that, and pretty much all of them are grey. Aside from the last one, which has some buggy jumpings in the start, but who cares? 7 out of 10. So the level gauntlet starts off strong with two levels using the exact same song. The levels are kind of lava themed, but that's not really important. You know what the main talk about this gauntlet is, and that's Fire Aura. Fire Aura is a 7 star that is harder than a few easy demons that I've played. The wave in this level goes incredibly hard, but come on, Rob, 7 star? This level is a huge roadblock in the gauntlet, and it can be annoying for some new players. So with that, I'll rate the lava gauntlet a 6 out of 10. Alright dude, I love the Chaos Gauntlet. This one also really doesn't have a theme, so that's one last thing to judge it on. The gameplay on this one is really nice, and I mean really nice. The last level especially is one of my favorite gauntlet levels ever. Dark Drop is a 7 star that isn't a 7 star, I guess that's just the best way to describe it. But you know what, I don't care, I'll give the Chaos Gauntlet an 8 out of 10. Okay, so let's just get this out of the way first. The Demon Gauntlet is a 10 out of 10. If you disagree for any reason, you have a little thing we like to call a skill issue. Sidestep is an easy demon, which is actually probably medium. Great level, but Chase did go crazy with that ending. Traction is great and also has one of the tightest wave corridors I've ever had the joy to go through. Mechanical Showdown is another great level with super fun gameplay. Vibration is probably the worst in the gauntlet, uh, it has way too many fakes and the gameplay is more so annoying than difficult. And finally Hell. I just recently beat Hell and it has the hardest but also most fun wave I've ever played. In conclusion, the Demon Gauntlet is a great challenge and a beautiful 10 out of 10 gauntlet. Next on the list is the Time Gauntlet, the first 2.11 gauntlet, which I will be covering in the next video. <laughs> Cliffhanger go brrrr. This is my 100th video on the channel, we're at 800 subscribers and the support has been unreal, so thank you all so much for watching, drop a like if you enjoyed, drop a like if you didn't, and with that, I'll see you next time. Yo dude, if you're still here, comment banana down in the comments so that I know that you watched the entire video.